A few years ago I ordered this vertical horizontal rotary table with dividing plates and tailstock from Grizzly. I really hadn't had a good chance to use it. I always wanted to put a chuck on it and had trouble um, deciding what type of chuck and what type of chuck adapter to use to put on it. Um, the, the rotary table itself came with four T-nuts that fit in the four grooves to hold whatever adapter plate or whatever you were going to do. I've used it before with the toe clamps and that type of stuff on it. And I've held a couple of things and you know rotated and did some turning and stuff like that on it. And it worked pretty good but I still wanted the chuck to go with it. So I ordered an adapter plate got a phase two or phase yeah phase two three jaw chuck that I'm going to use with it. I've already drilled the back holes for this and mounted the chuck to the plate. I also turned a center finder which is about a Morse taper two insert into this guy. So my plans are to mount this in the chuck and use that adapter to center up the chuck on the rotary table. So I started working on that. I ran into a couple of problems. First problem I ran into was this groove around here and the locking mechanism interfered with the T-nuts sticking out. So I milled the T-nuts down so that I wouldn't have an interference problem. And I've got one mounted in here and you can see it rotates around without any problem and I just milled out the bottom part of it. Okay, the second problem I ran into was when I went to mount the T-nuts and the adapter plate, my screws wouldn't fit in there because these this is so close here. So I tried grinding the side of this down and that worked pretty good. I could slide the screw in at that point but it still wasn't what I wanted. I still have problems with this it. tight there. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. Depends on which ones you got, how much you ground it. And once you started in there, if it sticks up, you can't turn it because it interferes with that. So if it, you know if you could raise the whole plate up and then just turn them all at the same time, it'd be no problem, but it can't hardly do that. So what I what I'm gonna do now I took a nut. These are um, oh, eight millimeter 1.25 and I took a nut I got from Lowe's or somewhere, cut it, and I'm going to mount the screws in that and put that in my lathe in my three jaw chuck. And then I'm going to turn the diameter down so that they'll fit in the adapter plate. I have a Craftsman, it's a 12 inch. My 36 inch is probably a 70s model. I bought used and fixed a few things on it and have enjoyed playing with it. Um, for this little project with the, the nuts, the, the bolts, I'm set up on belt position one, cone drive, direct cone drive. So that means I'm going 164. RPM. I'm doing an auto feed, a carriage feed at point zero zero four two, the slowest I can go. I've got a tangential cutter that I bought some time ago that I've really enjoyed, really liked, and am getting used to it. Learning as I go. These are the bolts I'm starting with. M8-1.25 by 16. 
I'm going to put a new bolt in. Got the split nut in the three jaw chuck. Got the nut just kind of snugged up in there. I'm going to snug the bolt up and then tighten down on the nut. Now, I'm going to go over here and touch off, set my zero back out, go down. And let's see how this one cuts. Back to the zero. Down close. Engage the auto feed. Again, it's not quite round, as round as the screw itself, I guess. Due to the way the th bolts are made, the threads are not always centered up on the head. So I ended up having to take it down to about 415 thousandths in, so that I wouldn't have to uh, special fit each one so that they would all be interchangeable. <laughs> Okay, let's see how we've done. We ended up turning our screws down to 0 0.415, 415 thousandths. We milled off part of the T-nut so it would go past the locks over here on the side. So we're ready to, to go. Dropping my center pin down my th through my three jaw chuck into the number two Morris and pushing down and at the same time tightening up on the three jaw so that that's centered in the three jaw. Now I can line up my T slots put one T slot in Bolt. And screw it in. Just going to snug it up right now. I've determined that these stops have a lot of play in them. And those T-nuts are on the line. They're pretty close. So if you don't watch where these end up, if they end up in tight, it'll hang on a T-nut. If you pull it out, it'll go by it. So that's just something when you're working with it that you'll just have to take note of. But if it hangs, pull your stops out on the side and make sure they aren't pushed in or crooked. So we're in good shape with this. It will work. It's workable. This is part of the fun stuff. Figuring out what the problem is and how to fix it, how to correct it, what to change, what it is, what to know, what to do next time. 
If you don't learn something, you probably aren't having fun. Talk to you later.